The Frogman is funny, Warpugs. Today we're going to be checking out restarting Minecraft after every death, and I've never played Minecraft, and I'm proud to make that statement. I have not got caught up into Minecraft. Just not. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm all the more willing to watch people suffer agony and pain while playing this game. Namely because I don't understand it, and also because, well... I'm a jerk like that, I guess. But Martin Cito Pants has put out his latest video, and we are going to be sitting here enjoying it. So we have set the mood lighting for the Green Frogman. We will get the boat and let us enjoy ourselves. Guys, Martin Cito Pants links are going to be in the description down below. If you have not checked him out before, his Just Cause 3 speed runs are absolute classics, and you should see them as soon as possible. Until then, let's watch this video. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> Hello again. Welcome back. Yes. You and I have met in a bit of a pickle. You see, I'm stuck on an island Ooh. in the middle of the sky. It's just me, this acacia tree, and a few blocks of grass. Now, you may be asking questions like, Mart, why are you stuck? And Mart, how did you end up here? And Mart, what made you abandon me as an eight-year-old child in 2003? <laughs> well, let's start at the beginning. A few days ago, I routed my friends up, set up a Minecraft server, and got to work on my next great video. It had okay. the perfect plan. All Play right. with my friends in hardcore. But if anyone dies, that's it. We delete the world and start fresh. But you know what you don't have to start fresh? Oh! Opera GX. That's right, fuckos. This video is sponsored by <laughs> Opera GX, the most web browser ever made. Do you struggle with a lack of notifications? You don't? Well, I think you do. You clearly aren't distracted enough. It's time to cram every app and website under the sun into your browser. Twitch streams, Discord chats, heinous TikToks, your mother's extremist WhatsApp group. Lobotomize yourself. Whack! Don't be blocked. Whack! Subway service. Whack! If that doesn't stop the voices, then it's time to visit the GX corner. Your one stop is smart. You can watch my 12 latest videos all at the same time. You can find wonderful free games like Raid, Shadow Legends, and E. Even games journalism. That's right, the GX Corner is also your one-stop shop for all your gaming wisdom, news, and... Uh... Uh... <laughs> you're still not convinced? How about my brand new mod? Open a tab. Oh, no. Close a tab. No. Add my classic background music. Okay. Maybe you want to go in <laughs> whatever you type. Okay, that's far too silly. Let's make things a bit more formal. Okay. Maybe you want my epic wallpaper. Well, guess what? It's in my mod. And maybe you want your Discord tab to look like this. Okay, oh. you seem pretty convinced, but you're afraid you'll lose your 15 tabs of smut and filth. Be not afraid. Opera GX can transfer your bookmarks, cookies, Chrome extensions, and your very questionable browsing history. Want to pick on your browser just like mine? Use my link in the pinned comment or description below to download Opera GX today and get my sick wallpaper. Thank you once again to Opera GX for sponsoring this segment. And anyway. Yes. <clears throat> back to the video. In this link will be in the description down below, Warpugs. This Minecraft challenge, we had only one goal. Okay. Kill the Ender Dragon and finish the game. Okay. As you can imagine, this did not go down as smoothly as one might have hoped. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't I take you back to the start of this terrible adventure? Yes. Let us begin. Day one. To make this challenge a bit more interesting, we had installed the voice chat mod. So, before the others got on, Tristan and I did a few practice runs to test it out. We didn't think we'd actually finish it, and of course, we did not. Practice run number one. We got our bearings, mined some iron, waddled around a bit, and found the entrance to this cave, where Ooh. Tristan inexplicably decided to jump into this water. Are we doing this? Doing it! <laughs> he missed. Attempt two. We did pretty much the exact same thing, and, well... Watch this, watch this, watch this speed, speed hack, right? Go like this. Attempt three. Yes. Just got bludgeoned to death by an iron golem. Attempt four. We got a few more people on, built this little base, built a portal, went on through, and Tristan, at the very first opportunity... <laughs> ...fell into a lava lake. Attempt five. I got brutally assaulted by piglins. And attempt six. I got brutally assaulted by piglins. The boys were now online, which concluded our preliminary attempts. Now on to the main event, yes. which I assure you would only be getting much worse. Okay, for real this time, 
Day one, attempt one. Let's go. Our spawn location for today was this beachy, jungly sort of place. Okay. Wood, check. Tools, check. Flint and steel, check. Animals burning in their own flesh. <laughs> we had absolutely no plan. So why not do some sightseeing? Oh, yes. look at that. That's a cool lake. I like that lake. This looks, this reminds me of Brazil. Yeah. What? Okay, just yeah. I haven't seen any gang warfare yet. Generally, things were going well. Now, remember, we had absolutely no plan. Okay. So when the sun inevitably set and the mobs inevitably spawned, we had no choice but to run away and hide in a cave. In this cave is where we hatched our plan for the base. All right, you guys, you guys can go mining. Oh. We're gonna build a lighthouse like here. Okay. Here. This is a terrible spot to build a lighthouse, okay. by the way. We're gonna build no, a not, lighthouse. No, not, not here. <laughs> yeah, who's that? Are we guiding? What? Boats, you fucking idiot. Uh, maybe this isn't the best spot for a lighthouse, so how about... Uh, here. Oh. Tristan and my friend Arlo were clearly not interested. Hey guys, your lighthouse looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> now despite them insulting our beautiful lighthouse, I later joined them in a mining expedition. Okay. Without iron armor, people can die from all sorts of very silly things. So getting some for everybody was our first priority. And of course, we always need diamonds. I found diamonds. Who doesn't love some good old diamonds? Where are you guys? Uh, uh -oh. hello. Oh no. I will admit to not having the best sense of direction, particularly in Minecraft caves. So when I went one way and Arlo and Tristan went the other, I got lost. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Caves are spookier with proximity chat. One moment you're good, Man, you're talking, and the next, silence. Oh. Just you and the mines. Yes, and your thoughts, your thoughts betray you. you, said, Where'd you go? Oh, boys, boys, Where'd you go? where are you guys? Where are you? Oh, sorry. I found you guys. <laughs> Once I found them again, we surfaced and went our separate ways. Nice. I returned to the lighthouse, and they returned to their own spot across the water. The lighthouse had come along quite nicely, and Tristan was even kind enough to gift us a clock. Now you know when it's night and day. <laughs> now I know when, really? it's, when it's night time. Damn. Ben, however, not content with this gift, decided to follow them and track down this mystery base they were hiding in. Yeah. I followed. Their base was, uh, rather unremarkable. <laughs> but they did have these. One of which was filled with stuff. Oh! Naturally, Ben stole it. <laughs> ben stole my fucking chest, man! Man. Ben, you can Now, Tristan isn't exactly one to take things lying down. No. And Ben had gone too far this time. Yes. Making things even worse, I did this. Feverishly building my. How big? Oh, no, the, the crops. The oh crops, my god, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the boat. You also How sunk much? the chest boat, Martin. Now, it wasn't all bad. Sure, I had sunk all of Tristan's prized possessions to the bottom of the ocean, yes. but it led us down to a cool underwater cave. Very nice. In which we utilized the door method. I don't know how people die in like underwater caving expeditions. Just bring a freaking door, you imbecile. Just bring a door. This little underwater cave went quite deep. Deep enough, in fact, that I found some diamonds. What is the door method? And as we all know, nothing bad ever happens after finding diamonds. No, nothing. Nothing would. <laughs> oh my god. Now you may be thinking, damn, this Tristan guy is an asshole. He just broke our lighthouse and killed poor, innocent Ben in cold blood. Yes. Well, uh, you'd be right, but <laughs> that wouldn't be an accurate retelling of events. Okay. Now, watch closely. Tristan Tell me. Tell me more. Sneaks into the lighthouse, mm -hmm. places his first TNT, it explodes, sticks his second TNT down, it also explodes, and sticks his third TNT down. Now watch Ben closely. Watch the cogs turn in this man's head. <laughs> ben has a decision to make. Escape the explosion or defend the lighthouse and fight off Tristan. Ben okay. chose neither of these options. <laughs> Instead, he walked into the TNT and removed all his armor 
framing Tristan in his own suicide. Ben, you're an absolute rat bastard. <laughs> and so, <laughs> attempt number two. Let's go. The beginning of our deterioration. Yes. Village, check. Bell, check. Bucket, check. Fuck it. Let's go to the nether. So we went to the nether. Was going to the nether a good idea? No. no. I could just tell <laughs> someone was going to fall in a pool of lava and die. Lucky for me though, no one fell in a pool of lava and died. Instead, our friends Tobias and Nathan in their infinite smooth braid wisdom decided to try and break the overworld portal with stone tools, which wouldn't have actually done anything. And even better, during this process, they died. Attempt three. <laughs> Another savannah. Wood. Check. Stone. Check. And Tobias has died to a creeper again. Oh my god, fucking Tobias. <laughs> fucking Tobias. Tobias. Attempt four. Forest spawn. Wood. Check. Tools. Check. Yes. Really big hole. Check. Race the bottom. One block of wood. <laughs> Attempt five. <laughs> one. Fast. You know what's better than beating the game? Picking a direction at random and just running away. Do it. We went extremely fast. Way too fast to speak coherently. So fast that. Yeah, pigs, 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 pigs. Oh, pigs, 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 Mode. Excavated an area, found an underwater cave, unwent mole mode, and found this cool floating island thing where my friend Steven, whose name I cannot show for legal reasons, did this. <laughs> <A> whole... <laughs> <All right. laughs> Attempt six. Ice spice, ice spice, ice spice, ice spice. Yes, Ben. That's right. Ice spice. Instead of doing something productive, we ran towards the ice spice biome and built some boats. Boats. <laughs> and then suddenly, my friend Jackie. Good game. Fell and died. Attempt seven. We were getting tired, and Tristan in particular was somewhat losing his mind. <laughs> Can you use mobile cubby sign? Mobile cubby sign. Mobile cubby sign. How come these bruise trees are four by four? These bruise trees? What? <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Staircase. Yes. If you're wondering why we're building a staircase instead of finishing the game, staircase. Oh, fuck! <laughs> 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 now, Ben did just die, but instead of restarting, staircase. Steven is also building a. That's all the reason you ever need. Competing wood staircase next to our mobile cobblestone staircase, which resulted in predictable shenanigans. We need to hit Steven off the edge. Yeah. You're gonna have to make the jump across. Do it. Two. Wait, are we one, at, are we at okay. height yet? Here, no. wait. <laughs> <laughs> ben then made the regrettable mistake of looking at an Enderman. What the hell? Uh, oh, let's go. Oh my god. It's so chill up here. It's just playing like the, the music, uh, chill. Real chill like. The music, uh, chill. <laughs> Martin, want me to. Ah, Martin, I can save jump me. across. Save me, save me, save me, save me. Save me. <laughs> what the hell? Bruh. Oh my fucking god. And, okay, that's enough. Day one was over. We got our furnace <laughs> on our first attempt, and for all the rest, we died in under 10 minutes. Our highest milestone was reaching the nether. Okay. Sort of. This was definitely all right, well. harder than I thought it would be. Yeah. And so, we move on to day two. Day two. Day two did not start off well. No. Attempt eight, a swamp spawn. Uh. We found this cool sandy mountain thing, oh. did a bit of quarrying and collectively decided this place sucks. I think we have to migrate guys. It was time to find promising new land. Yes. And before you knew it, on the horizon was promising new land. Yay. And upon seeing our promising new land had this to say. This is promising new land. However, <laughs> fact checkers would later state that this land was not promising. Oh, no. We continued and before we knew it, promising new land. So of course, wood, Point. check. Tools, Point. check. Cave, check. Did you guys fucking hear that? Did you guys hear that? Okay. It sounds like somebody's breaking in! Yes, Tobias. Someone was breaking in. Into Ben. Okay. What? Fuck, 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 fuck. Huh? Attempt none. <laughs> Guess what? Another swamp spawn. I have this, 
this would kill me this would kill my soul it would absolutely devour the very essence of my being until i was nothing more than shattered remnants of sanity i would die attempting this to, like so hats off to him because i couldn't do this i would lose my mind Boy. So once again, wood, check, tools, check, but now, quarry time. Steven, mute yourself, kill him. Oh, yeah. Who keeps hiccuping me? It's the hiccup gnome. Oh my god, the hiccup gnome's in the Oh my god. At the bottom of our tunnel, we had found this funky underwater cave, in which we utilized the door method once again. Well, most of us used it. Everyone except for my friend Simon. Attempt 10. <laughs> Not a swamp spawn. Immediately, we had good vibes from this one. I'm getting good vibes from this, Martin. I'm getting good awesome. vibes from this. We had spawned next to a village, which is always a good thing. Oh. You know what else is a good thing? Eight hours of sleep. And we are a bunch of sleepy boys. I've got three beds. Guys. Okay, good. Died. Oh, oh Seamus died. What? <laughs> now, we all oh pointed and laughed. We were like, damn, Seamus, you must suck. Everyone knows you don't just punch a golem. Well, that's what we all thought. But upon reviewing the replay footage, the truth was revealed. Oh! Dick! <laughs> uh, attempt 11. Nothing of interest happened. With friends like these, you don't really need enemies. Very boring. I got lost for like 10 minutes and then Sydney died to a zombie way off screen. Attempt 12. A Mesa spawn. You know what? I don't like Mesa spawns. Tobias, fist fight? Yep. <laughs> Attempt 13. Trying to slow things down, oh. I decided to build a nice house. Yes. Right under this house, the boys had found an iron vein and collected about 600 iron. Oh. I'll be honest, I got quite invested in this world. Yay. Being a house, a lot of resources, lots of food, but then Tristan entered the nether. Oh. On his own. Oh. Why would you do this, Tristan? You know I'm making a video, right? Like if you just die in the nether and then we have to restart and I get zero footage from it. Tristan. At this point, my soul collapses, and I want to die. Just, why? Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> Attempt 14. A good classic forest spawn. I could just tell, in this world, big things were on the way. Twice I'll agree with you, I'm getting whimsical vibes from this. So, whimsical. of course, we completed our checklist. Wood, check. Wait. Tools, check. Wait. Stone, check. Wait. Martin, I can quit mining stone at any time, I swear. <laughs> this big hill thing had a bunch of iron on it, so we oh. collected it and turned it into armor. Amazingly, it had been 10 minutes and no one had died. Ah! Oh. Yet. The main group had split into a few smaller groups, some of whom had gone down mining. So I took the guys I was with and ventured down into the caves to find them. Down in the caves, okay, we didn't find them. But we did find this. That's Dark. pretty. Deep That's dark nice. biomes are kind of spooky. Oh, yes. fuck. I got blindness. Make a sound, and they'll hear. Oh. If one of these guys shrieks a few too many times... Well, we'll leave that for later. This particular deep dark biome, we navigated around as carefully That's as really possible, cool looking. making sure not to trip any... Oh, no. Um... Making sure not there we go. to trip any shriekers. We then found some of the other guys, and we're like... Yeah, and turned around on that. <laughs> on the surface, things had come along nicely. I would have loved to express this, but I, uh, didn't. Into the... The fucking, um... Uh, with the... The, 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 the well, uh, the, um... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, uh, it's... <laughs> um, uh, well, it's... Uh, it's uh, yeah. um, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... Uh, the, uh... <laughs> yeah, that one. This sounds like me trying to speak English on any given day for any given reason. This is this is what it sounds like. The pain I feel when I speak the English language is incomprehensible. That wasn't even a word. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 
but, uh, well, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sydney came back from the mines with a good bounty of obsidian, so we built a portal, and all went through. Oh! Now, believe me, I did not want to be here. The nether is full of these guys, and these guys, uh -huh. and worse of all, these guys. One wrong move by anyone, and all of our progress would be lost. We were here for blaze rods. And to find blaze rods, we'd have to find a fortress. So first things first, let's walk around in circles for 20 minutes and get lost. Yeah. Guys, yeah. guys, I think we're lost. We nearly fell a few times. Oh my god! But managed to find ourselves a warped forest. Oh, okay, this is a good this is a good spot for killing Enderman, actually. Yes, Mart. It is a good spot for killing lots of Enderman. Okay. Like this. Horrible sound. Miserable on mob. <laughs> oh, I got another. That's it. That's 14. Let's oh, go. Oh, okay. We have enough enderpearls. Let's get those blaze rods. Yay. We still hadn't found that nether fortress, which called for walking around in circles for another 20 minutes. So we walked around in circles for another 20 minutes. I found a fortress. <laughs> you found a fortress? Guys, oh, I found a fortress. Shit. Yeah, right. Okay. And would you look at that? A fortress. Oh. Nice. To get this far, it had taken us literally all day, and I was stressing the fuck out. On top of that, it was getting late, so we made our way back slowly and carefully to the nether portal. Okay. Almost dying a few times in the process, and had a good old chill back at base. Tobias, nice. the base master, had constructed quite the establishment. A nice house, some farmland, and a little chapel. There's a zombie pigman at the church, guys. Inshallah, he's finding God. The world was what? going great. Tomorrow, we'd go to the stronghold and kill that ender dragon. Nice. And so, for the rest of the night, we fished. Guys, ow, ow, ow! ow. My arms are the guys. My arms are the casts. I'm gonna, but it ain't I'm gonna, broken. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Minecraft Bud Lights. <laughs> <laughs> shit just, shit just doesn't feel normal without it. It's not realistic. Cause I'm not fucking hammered at fucking one o'clock on a Monday. <laughs> Look at us down there, having a good old time, just fishing, talking shit. All's well. When does it go wrong? When does it go bad wrong? Too well. This right here is Steven. Hey, Steven. A bit of a prankster. A jokester. It's not Tristan this time, at least. And he's come up with an epic prank. If you reel someone in while you're above them, it shoots them up in the air. <laughs> Very funny, Steven. But Steven, be careful. That's quite high up. It would sure be an awful, awful shame if- <laughs> Oh no! no! Oh my god. At this point, you feel the sanity starting to become unraveled. At this point, my soul begin, my soul is past collapse. It is compressed down into the shape and size of a black hole. And it has become the singularity. The event horizon of my rage has spread through the known galaxy. And I just want to die. Attempt 15. <laughs> ben beat up Steven. That was the attempt. <laughs> and uh, we ended the day on that note. Well, we got further than day one, but not by much. <sighs> well, day three. Day three. Here we come. Day three started much the same as day two, with plenty of abject failures. It seemed to me that getting a good run going was exceptionally difficult. From sneaky creepers, to surprise holes, <laughs> to Tristan's TNT, and Stephen's rather unfortunate prank, things we're looking grim. Yes.
god. <laughs> oh my god. I would cry. I would die inside. And There's no with way. That, day four. There is legitimately no way that this could happen. I could not play this. I could not do this. I would lose my damn mind. I would lose it. I would not have any of these sanity left after day one. My sanity would be gone. Or attempt 29. At this point, we were feeling a little spent. If we didn't win soon, everyone was going to lose interest. Attempt 29 was our first Final ever jungle speed. spawn. Jungle beats horror at me! Well, I think you know the drill by now. Next to our jungle spawn was a vast desert, oh. which we decided would be a great spot for our base. And even better, next to this great spot was this cool cave. Oh. So, you know, we did cave stuff for like half an hour. That's ah, safe enough. Oh, no, no, it's not safe. It's not safe. Go back. Once the cave stuff had been completed, I dug to the surface and searched for our base again. It didn't take long to find it, mm -hmm. because of these. Follow the TNT cock. Back at base, <laughs> the Sassy had found this most curious... The explosive cock. ...this contraption. <laughs> oh, my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he fell for the oldest trick in the book. And what do you know? It was nether time. <coughs> this time, another team was smaller and more experienced. Nick had even brought his parrot. Oh. This parrot, really fucking chill. Our spawn in the nether... Uh, sucked. But once we dug our way out, we found this open area and we found this bastion. Now, cast your mind back for me real quick. Remember how I was brutally assaulted by piglins during our practice runs? Well, yeah, that was inside a bastion. And the assaulters were these guys. These guys are not normal piglins. Oh. They're piglin brutes, oh. naturally. I wanted nothing to do with this place. Right. There was a warped forest right next to the bastion, so while we murdered Endermen for their pearls, we just looked at it. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe there was something cool inside? Maybe. Perhaps? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I got a good feeling there's a looting sword in that other chest. Now, sure, I wasn't that keen on going in, but look, exposed chest. Surely we could get something from it. What's the point of killing the dragon if you're not even going to do it with some Tim's on, man? <laughs> you know what, Sydney? You're right. Yes. What is the point of killing a dragon without Tim's? We chose this chest as our target, snuck on up to it, and busted it open. Sydney was in fact rewarded with Tim's in the form of a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Nice. Yeah. Once we'd collected our pearls and poked the bastion a bit more, it was fortress time. Now, the fortress itself, sure, it's dangerous, but mm -hmm. the journey to get to the fortress was far dangerouser. Small dangerous, holes everywhere, narrow passages over lava lakes, this horrible basalt biome, and sadly for Nick, his parrot was not up to the challenge. No! Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Polly the parrot is gone! Oh, chicken nugget. Died. Aimlessly searching around in the nether is never a fun experience. Mm. Luckily, it didn't take that long for me to spot the corner of a nether fortress way off in the distance. Guys, I found a nether fortress. Reaching it was extremely treacherous. <gasps> Oh my god, how close I was just then. But once we got there, collecting the blaze rods was simple and easy. Oh, that's it. That's all we need. I have six. There you and go. And with that, our nether travels were over. Sydney had brought enough obsidian for a backup portal, which yeah, he built, nice. and we all went on through. We had travelled a fair distance in the nether, so our overworld portal plonked us a good 3,000 blocks away from base in a cave. A good 3,000 blocks that we, of course, travelled. On our travels, Sydney found a goat horn. Nick found the sick horse, and I... Eh, that is a nice horse. ...was stressing the fuck out. Yes. Could this be it? We no. had reached this point before, and you know, Steven had done his thing. <laughs> oh, yes. This time, I wasn't taking any chances. Everyone <laughs> would be as stacked as possible. I made some preparations, the others got their supplies together, and our 12-strong group set out to find the stronghold. Yes. At night. With mobs everywhere. Oh. Uh. Just getting to the stronghold was quite the journey. And on that journey, I was getting more stressed. And more stressed. Yes. And more stressed. Yes. If a single person pulled a silly one on us, all of this work would be for nothing. Yes. We maneuvered over the mountains, 
raced along the rivers, and before we knew it, the ender eyes were pointing backwards. Holy shit. Was this it? After 29 attempts, we could finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Once I was- What's gonna happen? Certain we were in the right spot, we dug a staircase down, and what do you know? We were here. I could taste victory. Yes. And after a few minutes of searching- Oh uh, no! Portal room. It's going to happen! The great misery is upon us. But we still weren't ready. I wanted everyone to have enchanted gear, and strongholds have libraries filled with bookcases. Yay! Ideal for enchanting. So, we set off to find the library. And this is where it all came apart. <laughs> you see, we had made the crucial mistake of leaving the portal room unguarded. <coughs> Only for about a minute, but that's all it took. Now sure, you might say, what do you mean unguarded? Tristan and Steven are right there to deal with any threats. No. Tristan and Steven were not dealing with any threats. Oh, Tristan and Steven are <laughs> the threats. When I came back into the portal room, there was a lot- A fucking course! A fucking course is those two! A lot of very suspicious giggling. And a mysterious button in the ceiling. Lots of giggling and a mysterious ceiling button. Pressing this button seemed like a really bad idea. Yes. This deductive reasoning, however, eluded a particular member of our group. No. No. At this point, this is this is just cause for assault and battery. This is just cause for assault and battery. I'm just saying. You should not have done this. This is just... Oh, God, no. I would want to kill somebody. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> Day five. Yeah! As the sun set on our fourth day, our weary bodies and shattered souls bore the weight of countless failures. Our eyes, once filled with determination, now reflect the scars of disappointment. The wounds of defeat etched their mark of ah, blah 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, today was day five, and we had reached attempt thirty. Thirty. Christ. We began attempt 30 marooned in the middle of this vast desert. Lovely. An entire world of sand. <laughs> Seeing as there weren't any trees, we had no choice but to pick a direction at random and start walking. Uh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> 10 seconds of walking later, a village appeared on the horizon. With extreme efficiency, we ransacked all their houses, stole all their beds, beat their own golem to death, and left. Refusing to elaborate any further. <laughs> this village, uh, sucked. So we headed off deeper into the sandy abyss in search of supplies. Okay. Roughly five minutes of searching later, we found an oasis and another village. These fellas had clearly spent their entire lives working the farms, amassing themselves an impressive supply of wheat. Yes. Naturally, we stole all of it. All of their wheat. And I stole a dead bush. Cactus, clay, dead. Oh, guys, I have a dead bush in my inventory. Stay <laughs> mad. I have a rare item. As nighttime rolled in, bringing with it this incredible aurora, we stuck down our pilfered beds and had a wonderful night's sleep. Nick had gone off on some travels and discovered a third village in the desert. So, of course, we traveled to the third village in the desert. Oh, Sydney, you want to see this cool trick? Yeah. Yeah, throw your uh, pickaxe on the cactus and it turns into a diamond pickaxe. Don't do it. Seems just not at the village, is he? He just fucking did it. Wait, what happened to it? <laughs> this village had a good vibe to it. After after a couple of days of this, I, I, I would legitimately be doing dickish things too, so no, I don't blame him. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Let's go. I liked the cut of its jib, so we bestowed upon it our greatest honor of stealing everything, yes. picking out the villages, and living there ourselves. We chose this wonderful Very tower nice. as our headquarters and expanded the top of it to accommodate our needs. Like a, uh, uh, cactus. That's 
really big. Right. But they almost died, mate. Oh my god. Okay, we had a base. Now, to the mines. Beneath the village was a network of flooded caves, rich in iron, coal, lapis, and glow squids. Yay. Once again, our trusty doors made themselves immensely useful. Deeper into the cave, we got iron, got diamonds, and got obsidian. Well, that's enough mining. Back to base. Mm -hmm. Back at base, we got straight to it, built the nether portal, and went on through. There Much like our big desert biome in the over. I have never played this game, and I'm so glad I didn't. Because if stuff like this happened, I would lose my mind. It would be gone. World, our nether portal spawned us near a... <laughs> Our nether portal spawned us near a huge basalt delta, hmm. resulting in one of the coolest nethers I've ever seen. Ooh. So, we got to work. I chose a direction and we started traversing over the basalt. It was definitely cool looking, but traversing over it was dangerous and a huge pain. Luckily, the fortress was very close. Once we'd reached our blaze rod quota, we traversed hmm. back over the basalt and to the warped forest for our mandatory pearl farming session. This time, we remembered the boat method. Oh, what is what? the boat method? This. Okay. <laughs> <That's a laughs> Fucking idiot. Absolute fool. If someone's trying boat. to attack you, you just throw a boat down. Boat. And then they, they get stuck in the boat. They're like, oh. Simply just throw a canoe at them. <laughs> <laughs> Once we'd thrown sufficient canoes at the local Enderman population and fulfilled our Pell quota, it was time for a graceful exit. Okay. Well, as graceful as one could be while being chased by a mob of pissed off and by pistols, courtesy of Sydney's questionable diplomatic abilities. <laughs> All right, gents, it's showtime. Okay. Back at base, zero dilly dallying took place. Well, except for placing all this glowstone for some reason. We collected our things, and before we knew it, it was stronghold time. I threw the first ender eye, and we set off. The desert was big, but we reached the end of it pretty quickly, okay. which gave way to a warm ocean. Ooh. Its floor covered in sea pickles. Look at all those sea pickles down there, man. Absolutely wonderful. Honestly, just oh, I, I'm fucking out fiend for a sea pickle right now. <laughs> We travel the seas, through forests and jungles, leaving a... a mark. And before we knew it, <laughs> the eyes were pointing down. Straight down. Oh, it was time. Down. We tunneled down, found the stronghold, found the portal room, and found the library for enchanting our items. Yes. Before jumping in, I gave the boys a rousing speech. All right, the hype speech. Uh, the hype speech would probably ent entail something to the effect of, don't you dare, don't you dare do anything stupid. Sure is me. this Ender Dragon? We're gonna beat its ass. He's a fucking future dog, bro. Well, I'm fully motivated, Are you, aren't you? Place the eyes into the portal, and we jumped on through. Our strategy was simple. Water. Lots and lots of water. Where do we go? Do we go? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sydney! Oh! They're gonna get it! They're gonna get it! They are going to. Hit his ass! Oh my god. <gasps> Don't tell me he got killed. What? 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 Ah, shit. <laughs> okay. I couldn't play this. I, I couldn't. There'd be no way for me to. I would lose everything of sanity. I do not have the tolerance for this kind of stuff. The sheer fact that he has the mental fortitude to put up with this garbage. <laughs> Just put up with this garbage. You know what? Better man than I, because I would I would have done like I would lose friends over this in a very, very rapid manner. Um 
this there's a to be continued on this. I was sitting there looking at it like I never played Minecraft. I can see the appeal though. I can really see the appeal. I've seen things that people have made in Minecraft, including a fully a full size Gloriana class battleship, which was cool as hell to look at, by the way. But a game like that, I just I never saw the appeal of it. I never started in it. Um and a it's, it's one of those things where it's time invested equals reward. Um, so, for me, with with my limited time, I can't do much of... Kills me inside. Um, guys, Martin Pseudopants is the frog, and he is funny. Okay? The frog man is quite funny. I'm looking on the screen. I'm seeing beating Just Cause 3 with a steering wheel. And that's already making my soul just ache in pain. I don't see how he does this kind of stuff. I don't see how he does this. Because if I did this for any length of time, I would die inside so fast. If you like this, guys, go check out Martin Cedar Pants. He is hilarious. And just, the, the man has patience that is just saintly. Because if, especially when you take a look at his, um, just Cause 3 um, playthroughs where he attempted to do speed running. Like, you're looking at <sighs> hours upon hours of gameplay that can be screwed up by one simple mistake. I don't have that in me. In things like this, five straight days of gameplay that could be screwed up by one single mistake or one single oversight. I can't, I would lose it. It, it I, my, my mind would fray. <sighs> like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I have merch by Valk and Patreon, Discord, all the other kind of stuff in the description down below. Go check those links out. If you'd like to support the channel, though, the easiest way to do that is just hit the like button, leave a comment down below, throw a brick at me if you want to. That's fine. <sighs> a couple of more bricks and I can build a house out of my brick head. Anyhow, guys, I hope you had fun. I know I did. Frogman is funny, and I'm an old bag. I'll catch you guys next time. Like seriously, at the point where they put that thing up, that that when they put the TNT in the roof, that that is that is just cause for assault and battery. Okay.